Yo, what is up guys? I'm here hitting you up with a new video. So today we got the new developer note called Blooded Ice Queen coming. There's like, I didn't read through the whole thing yet. I read like just a tiny little bit of it really, but there's some good and there might potentially be some really bad, which I want to discuss with you first. So what did they cook up with this time that marvel? So first of all, with the new update, we were getting a new content, which is called the Battlefield of Chaos. First, we would like to introduce the Battlefield of Chaos, a new content that will bring new excitement to our hunters. The Battlefield of Chaos is a defense type dungeon in which hunters must defeat randomly appearing bosses consecutively. This will be a difficult content where hunters who are farming tier 10 on commissions or instance dungeon can challenge. We expect the Battlefield of Chaos will offer differentiated battle experience unlike any existing content for hunters who have grown a certain level, dominate, blah blah blah. And we are getting gems. So. Basically, the Battlefield of Chaos is a content where we are getting the gems. We will unlock the new gem content. And there's like some pictures here, how it looks like, really. We will have to see how it works. Like, do we have keys? Can we do it like an infinite, infinitive amount of times? Or is it just like we can do it like a couple of times per day, basically? But at least it's new content. New content is always great, right? Then new content gem. We have put a lot of thought into presenting the Battlefield of Chaos and offering blah for the hunters. We felt that simple rewards such as gold and XP will not be enough to provide sufficient motivation to challenge the new content. Yes, that's true. After careful consideration, we are revealing gem as a new reward and con for our hunters. That basically means we are getting more combat power, obtain various gems while playing the Battlefield of Chaos and freely set the obtained gems to the newly added gem system. Slot equip gems and unlock next level gems to pop Jin Wu and other hunters, even shadows to fight against the massive of chaos. Well, and here you see a, a picture of the gem system. I think this is like attack based stuff. This is defense based stuff, HP based stuff. This is like crit damage and stuff. And this is like other utilities such as, um, I think it was skill cooldown, redu cooldown reduction and um, skill speed or something like that if I remember correctly. Then the next uh, unit is now confirmed, we are getting Alicia Blanche as the next character. There is the video about it, I, we will not watch that, but she's the new character which is everybody looking forward to pull really. And now the really interesting part here is now the guild feature. Even when playing the same game, the experience and the immersion can be significantly different depending on the bond. We are well aware of this difference, so our target for the first grand update was development of a guild system. As the guild is considered important in the original story, we thought that the guild system our hunters encounter in the game must also be special. I also do hope that they, with the guild content, they will also unlock a chat system with it so we can communicate in game with each other, which is in my opinion very important to do so. So I hope it's not like we're getting guild con and then cannot communicate with each other. I hope we have a guild chat system, at least if it's not a world chat really. So to achieve this, hunters who are joining the guild will be able to bond with each other and grow together, receiving various benefits based on their progress. I do believe there's like certain also buffs maybe, like if you join a guild, you get more attack stats and something like that with the resources you get there and so on and so forth. Additionally, our goal is to enable the creation of unique guilds through various themes and interaction. We will try our best to provide a guild system our hunters can be satisfied with. Also, I'm curious about the guild feature, how many people are able, like, capable to join one guild. I'm also, by the way, planning on creating a guild um, on my old Discord with other gadgets I played uh, back in the days or like, I mean, anytime basically. So we are creating the NBA Never Be Afraid uh, guild for this game. If you want to join or if you're looking for a club, just let me know in the comments down below. Maybe leave a message with your Discord username, ID basically, so I can hit you up on Discord. But we will see also in the future like how many uh, people can actually be in a guild in the first place so now five workshop of brilliant light we are preparing a new content called workshop of brilliant light working title to offer hunters another engaging gameplay experience work workshop of brilliant light is a challenge type content where various bosses appear you will encounter powerful bosses but we will be weaken them through various methods and use these methods to gain advantage in the battle we hope that this video we've pr uh, prepared will excite new hunters for the challenge of um, the workshop of brilliant light 
I think we already know we can do it like what three times per week from what we have seen so far and you basically get new artifact pieces where there are even eight piece effects and something that could potentially be very strong I'm really looking forward to that kind of stuff looks absolutely amazing and we have a lot of different bosses we can fight there which looks fantastic now let's come to the good and the bad really so improvement and balance and details currently as we move forward early access blah 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 in short they just now show us like what characters they plan to buff so bike is getting buffed and the overall damage will increase the damnation the qte will be adjusted to be easier to hit when attacking at close range now you can use damnation skill without hesitation because it has like a short range and i also think like the it's quite hard to get the hit off for the debuff so that's a good adjustment who gets a buff uh, when, with the addition of super armor when using skills so super armor is very good for him you can obtain your damage cycle without being cancelled which is great for him because he has like sc slow skill animations and he's a breaker upon achieving the first advancement the cooldown penalty will be eased preventing any cooldown gaps for the mediation of power skill during free play player attack play the overall attack tempo will be increased allowing faster hit and run attacks so he might be a very good windbreaker now then I knew it really that Silver is getting buffed. I told like I didn't like Silver too much. But basically what they're doing is they do want to increase the survivability with additional effects. So maybe he has like a life leech or something. Then Bora gets buffed as well. She scales off crit rate and crit damage. But the crit rate and crit damage stats you apply on her do not work on her Phantom Foxes as of right now. So what they will do is now the effects you get from your substats with the crit rate and crit damage will now also translate to the foxes which will make Libora even more powerful. Wang Dong Su they will also buff, they uh, added super armor for his uh, skills especially when you can charge his attacks. So you're able to deal more damage and do not get interrupted while fighting. And Lim also gets buff the inefficiency of benefits compared to the required operation due to the alternating usage of shoot and maneuver. Qualifier skills will be improved. Additionally, overall damage will increase. Uh, Lim Taius is in the magic boost status. So he gets more damage and they will uh, find a workaround with his skill buff so it's not as awkward as it is right now. Now, let's talk about the bat here really so this is just a guess the following hunters and weapons are scared also scheduled for adjustments with changes aimed at enhancing their balance compared to their current status ssr mimbingyu seo emma cha choi Park, Songchiyu, Q1, Vulcan's Rage, Lycan. So these ones I don't say anything because this one looks like a buff to me because no one really used these kind of units, right? But where I see the issue right now is really with this line here. Because since they, they are very careful with the wording, right? They say adjustments and enhancing their balance compared to their current status. So it could be that all these characters in the top line are receiving a nerf. And personally, I do not like that at all. Characters should not be nerfed. Especially, especially Shahain, which is with Global Null, the first rated banner. A lot of people pulled for her. A lot of people spent money to get her. A nerf is absolutely not accepted it's not acceptable i'm just saying at advance if they decide to buff something i don't say anything but this kind of stuff looks more like a nerf to me that they plan to nerf and I, it is unacceptable to nerf a unit which is out for two weeks and now the next patch is coming in just a week or one and a half weeks nerfing a character which just got released to just push the sales of the characters and then just nerfing the characters is not how it's supposed to be i hope they don't do that seriously but i'm telling you something if they really plan on nerfing cha for example a lot of people would quit the game and for me right now i am i'm really allergic to this kind of strategy so if i see that they will nerf her, i will refund all the money i spent on the game and I don't give a single damn fuck about this. Just to let you know, if they if they nerf Cha, if they nerf her, I will refund everything. I do not even care. And if they do that for the people who are free to play and continue playing the game as well, 
I highly recommend just by this move forward, I would not consider pulling any dupes for any new character releases ever again. Just get one copy and then you're good to go because this is a practice I cannot support in the slightest. Then when it comes to the next one, as far as SSR weapons, which requires a lot of time and effort to power up, they are not easy to use for hunters who prefer a relative lighter game experience. To address this, we are preparing features such as evolving SR Sunjin new weapons into high grade weapons and crafting SR Hunter exclusive weapons. So finally, we are getting SR Hunter exclusive weapons for the characters for the SR characters and we are also able to evolve like we saw like big images already from like the Kasaka dagger already with an advancement to the true form to the SSR. We will try to be careful and discreet as we can as this will change the composition of the game that has already been launched. We hope that our sincere wish for many hunters to enjoy the game even more can be effectively conveyed. Now for the conclusion. The Battlefield Chaos, Gem and New Hunter Alicia are in the final stage of preparation and will be revealed to our hunters soon. We will also try out to release the guild system and work of Brilliant Lightshock as soon as possible. So this could potentially mean that we will not get the feature with the next update. Hopefully we get, but this could mean that we have to wait a little bit longer for that. As it's in the early stage of the service, we are receiving compass feedback and improving and bug results from our hunters. We greatly appreciate the feedback and so on and so forth and thanks to the love and support solo leveling reached 20 million downloads which is big we will never forget that all the love and blah 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 so that's for that for the patch notes and as you can see a lot of them so we can see here like a big guy saying nerf chant am i that will stop playing we spent money to improve these characters according to their performances yes and there's like a lot a lot of heat already in the comments about um the implementation of potentially nerfing Cha and other characters so there is like a lot of good things here in these patch notes but this line alone uh, could be the make or break of solo leveling arise and I do hope that they are not planning on nerfing because this will hurt the game huge so that's it for today's videos guys, thanks guys for watching. If you didn't subscribe to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment down below and as well like the video. See you with the next one, deuces.